Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And you guys, it's a sad, sad day because I let this stuff get overflowed. Like, what, what was I thinking? I let this get overflown and it is just out of control. I have to do this empties video, get it done, get it out the way and throw this crap away. Like, you guys. This is too much. It's too much. But I am happy that I did get some use out of these products and I actually did finish these products. So if you guys want to see what all I'm throwing in the trash and then use them, then keep watching. All right, you guys. So before we go any further, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe, click the notification bell, and become a part of the D4L squad. It's lit over here. We're a family. You should become family. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you go and follow me over there. On Instagram, I am at A Marie Beauty. And follow me on my Facebook beauty page, which is lady tattoo beauty i will have all the links down below and in my banner you can always click on those and it'll take you straight to where you can find me but i'm gonna go ahead and start off with you guys know this is never in order it never makes sense but hey it is what it is maybe one day one of these videos I'll edit it to where it's supposed to go in sync with each other and not be jumping all over the place. But I'm going to start off with these two products. Y'all, my chair is swirling around. These two bath products. These are the Ivory Clean um, body washes. I do have the Gentle Clean Trusted. It, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It says Gentle Clean Trusted for Generations. Um, this one is the Aloe Scent Body Wash, which is the green one, and then the Water Lily Scent, um, which is the pink one. So I did find these at Walmart. I think they were like maybe two bucks, I think, maybe two bucks. And I finished the green one up because I think, no, the blue one was my very first one. That was in the last empties, but I did go back and buy another one. And then I went back and bought another one. <laughs> and I've just been trying all of the scents, but I do like the aloe one. I think I like the water lily too, if I'm not mistaken. Let me smell it so I can remember. Yes, I like the water lily. Oh, it smells like flowers. Oh yes, the aloe, it doesn't smell like aloe, but it has a good fresh scent. You guys, these are good. Like I told y'all once before, they are very loose. You do have to use a little bit more than normal when it comes to a body wash, but they are really good and I would continue to buy these. All right, let's talk about this bubble bath. I got two bubble baths that I finished, you guys. Two bubble baths, okay. So the first one is my fans want me glamorous. I won't let them down. Oh, is this a Marilyn Monroe? Girl, this is a Marilyn Monroe uh, body wash. I mean, bubble bath. Champagne scented bubble bath. I got this in my sister's, I got this in a basket set from my sister's wedding. She got married three years ago, almost three years ago. And I never opened that basket until recently. I kept it all together because I didn't want to actually lose that memory, but I had to think about it like, girl, the memory is always there. You got pictures and everything. So don't even worry about that. Use up the products your sister gifted you. So I did go ahead and use this champagne bubble bath. And you guys, I think I used this bubble bath up in like three to four days. I was like soaking in the tub for days and I kept using it because it smells so freaking good. It doesn't smell like champagne. It has like a sexy, sweet scent to it. That's the only way I could describe it. Sexy, sweet scent to it. And it was pretty good. I don't know where she got it from. Um, but if I was to come across it again, yeah, I would repurchase it. 
Now the other one that I'm obsessed with is this Bath and Body Works Coco Shea Honey Ultra Conditioning Queen Bee Bubble Bath. It's cocoa extract, shea butter extract, and pure honey. It's a soothing bubble. And it's from but it's from Bath and Body Works. And if you guys see that, you see that looseness in there, you guys, I literally ran the water in here and poured it out like that's how good this bubble bath is now it was 1650 but i think i had got this with um one of their annual sales and i want to say it was last year but it smells like pure freaking honey like honey and coconut is what it smells like okay so i can say it is very soft feeling once you're done i soaked in it and then got up and took me a shower type of thing but i can say it is moisturizing this is one both at and i never i know i keep jumbling all over myself sorry but i've never tried bubble baths from bath and body works until recently i just normally stuck with the lotions the body sprays and the perfumes and candles i never really got into Okay, so products that I cannot live without. This next product I cannot live without. I will always have to repurchase over and over and over every single time. I run low. And this is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castro Soaps. This one is in, I think this one is the peppermint. Yes, this is the hemp peppermint. And this one's the hemp almond. I can live without the hemp almond. I didn't like the way the hemp almond smelled, but I can say when I realized that I didn't like the way it smelled and it was no longer for me to use it on my body, I didn't want to waste it. So I did turn around and clean my brushes with it and kept doing it, you know, cleaning my brushes with the hemp almond until it was all gone. And that's how I finished it up. It, it's cool for my brushes. It's just not cool for me to bathe with. My favorite one that I think I've noticed is the peppermint. And right now, in my bathroom, I have the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Bar Soap going on for myself. And I did um, try to turn my sister on to this. She says it's okay. But I think I cannot live without it. I love the peppermint scent. TMI, but y'all may want to know this about Dr. Bronner's. If you haven't tried it, if you put it in your pretty girl to clean yourself, she's going to be minty. She's going to have that cooling, minty feel, but it'll go away. It doesn't harm her. It doesn't make her burn or anything like that, but she will go away, but she will be minty and winter fresh for a moment. But I love the peppermint. I I use it for my body, I use it for my face, I use it for my brushes. I read on here that you can use it in like many different ways. That's why it's considered an 18 in one. I haven't tried it in the laundry yet, but I'm kinda on, on curiosity side to try it. So maybe the next actual bottle that I buy, I would um, try it in the laundry and see. So you see your girl trying to um, keep things in order so I don't have to edit all out of order. <laughs> all right, I got some masks. I got some masks. I got some masks. Trying to pull them out like girl. All right, so your girl has been using up these masks and we need to talk about some of them because some of them, I don't even remember them. Some of them that I just didn't feel like, mm. and some of them I was just like, okay, I'll go rebuy it. Girl, I have used 10 masks in one month. So the first one is by the brand So A and it's the Juicy Strawberry Glow Mask. It's a strawberry yogurt complex and micro microfiber sheet. Um, I didn't really get nothing from it. It didn't smell like strawberries. It didn't give me like, hmm, okay. Soe is one of the companies that I have tried many masks from, but I don't 
think I would choose the Juicy Strawberry Glow Mask again because I don't remember anything about it glowing or making me feel any different. So, um, I don't know. The next one is Life, Life of Beauty. Namaste, All Day Girl. Biocellus, Cellulose Mask. Y'all, y'all know I can't. Ugh. I can't pronounce words at all. It says it's made with moisture locking coconut fibers and charcoal and tomatoes extracts that leave your skin clean and hydrated for a brighter, smoother glow. Um, this is my first time trying this mask. I don't think I ever had a mask from Life of Beauty before, but it did interest me because it had the tomatoes and the charcoal in it. And if I could say anything about it, I could say that I felt like on the first try and me not having another one or a couple of backups, I really couldn't tell anything from it. But it didn't leave my skin feeling bad or anything like that. I think I got this from Walmart. I'm not for sure. I would have to look into it and maybe pick up like three or four and only use those three or four in one week so that I could see the actual change or difference or judge it some more. Because right now my judge and my opinion is just like. So now the next one is gonna be this decollaged, I cannot say that, decollaged mask. It's a smoothing and lifting mask it's by the brand Soe again, and it's a neck mask that's shaped, that's shaped to cover your neck and decollage it. Deep moisture and age fighting ingredients help to restore and improve skin smoothness, firmness, and elasticity. Now this one, I can say that I should have probably picked up more than one and like literally used it enough for a full month so that I would be able to do a before and after because I know on the first one, it just made your skin, your neck look good and juicy. Like it made it look maybe a little younger, but it wasn't enough to be like, you see my lines and my discoloration in my neck right now. The first try is not gonna do anything for you, but it did feel good. Now one that I just, girl, I did not like. I think this was, it's, it, it's a couple of them I just didn't like. Okay, the collagen essence, essence, sorry. The collagen essence facial tissue mask is pomegranate, antioxidant, moisturizing and firming. Um, trying to see who is this by, I can't remember. I wanna say I seen this in the Dollar Tree. And you guys, the sheet mask itself was just dry. And it has moisture in here the sheet mask itself was just dry. So I don't think this was a good buy. All right, the Pastel Shop. Collagen Facial Essence, Essence, why do I keep saying that? Mask contains hyaluronic acid and collagen to promote hydration. Collagen increase the elasticity of the skin to reduce the deep, fine lines. 15 to 20 minute mask and as you guys could tell, I have a lot of collagen masks it's because I want to stay looking younger. So I did like the way this one set up. It was really, really juicy and heavy with whatever ingredients are in this. So when it did sit on your face, I like the juicy mask that when it sits on your face and even when it's times up, you still got to massage the stuff in, the residue in on your neck and your chin all over your face. I like those type of masks. I don't like the sheet mask where you leave it on for 20 minutes and then it's like paper thin dry. I don't like those type of masks, but this one from the pastel shop, which I don't know where I got it from, is a really good one. And I would consider myself picking this up again if I was to see it again. All right, Skin Recovery by So A. This one was a good one. Intense Moisture and Recovery. Uh, this one was a good one. I remember this one being a good one. Of course, this is a 15-20 minute mask. I think I have found a mask that was like a 10 minute mask. 
but this one was really good it did hydrate my face i did this one i know for a fact before i did my makeup and my makeup came out flawless that day i love and my skin came out flawless and i learned that i love doing that nine times out of ten i would either deep cleanse my face not just a everyday morning wash your face I would deep cleanse my face or throw a mask on and or throw a mask on before I do my makeup and I love the way it looks. I love when I shave my face. You guys, if y'all didn't know, I shave my face. I use Nair. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it up and down below. I Nair my face and after the day that I Nair my face, I do go in with a hydrating mask and... Uh, you guys i just be looking so flawless like i look face tuned just by using mask and near my face either way it goes whether you don't use mask or you do if you just shave your face your application and the longevity of your makeup lasts so much longer and it looks so much better so this one that i got is the vitamin c this is by natural from new zealand and I know I got this from Walmart and this is the 10 minute hydrating skin mask. The vitamin C and collagen hydrating face mask is really freaking good. Enriched with antioxidants and collagen to leave your skin replenished and radiant. I like this one. I like that it's the only 10 minute mask, but I did leave it on longer than 10 minutes and I took most of the um, juices out of it and used it like the day after um, was it the day after or that night? I think it was either that night once I took my makeup off and cleaned my face, I put the juices on my face to sit overnight or I did it the next morning and let it sit and then went in and did my makeup. I don't know which way, but I know I got this from Walmart and this is a really good one to pick up and to have in your collection. So A's Black Charcoal Hydrogel Detoxing Moisturizing and Revitalized Mask. I, oh, this was the mask that came two part and it's a jelly mask, which was super weird to me, but I kind of enjoyed it that it was super weird. Like it was jelly, it, it came out jelly and you had two parts to peel off the mask. And then, I don't know, it was real, jelly and fun to use i would use it again just because it is a fun mask to have um i want to say i want to say that i did like this i can't even remember right now but i want to say i did like this because it was a jelly mask and i like the way that it stayed cool the whole entire time you put it on your face but i can say i want to say it did moisturize my skin and of course i couldn't tell if it detoxed my skin or not it is a charcoal and hydrogel mask put together but I, I i just remember this being a fun mask and i will pick this up again okay and then for my la la fox mask you guys i just just did a video on la la fox product update and I remember saying in that video, if Lala Fox had a charcoal mask, which I don't know why I said that because I remembered they had a charcoal mask. I just didn't have it right there in my face at the time because I used all the charcoal masks. So that is a mistake that I made in that video saying if they had a charcoal mask. They do have one. I just used them all up and did not remember that I used them all up. So this is the La La Fox Pore Care Charcoal Mask. This one is a daily skin mask and that's how I ended up using them up because I did use it daily until I ran out. It's a pore tightening sheet mask with fine charcoal powder, removes toxins and keeps skin deeply hydrated and it did exactly that. If you guys would like to see the updated product review on La La Fox, I will have it linked up and down below so that you guys could go and check out the whole product update review I did. I love this mask. I'm going to get some more of especially the charcoal one. Okay, and then for the last one, I did get this in a, a wig box. 
Um, a company sent me a wig and surprisingly a face mask was in it. So this one is by a brand I never heard of. Mimo Cosmetics It's a crystal moisturizing effect replenishes dry skin and supplies ample moisture. It's a brightening and anti-wrinkle. You guys, it says it moisturizes dry skin, enriches and renews skin. Aqua hydration, sheet mask, you guys. This one, I did not like. It didn't have much to it at all. This is another one of the ones that got juice in it, but the sheets were dry. So I think it was a fail for me. I, I just, and I never heard of this company, which that's no judgment. I like to find new companies, but I don't like sheet masks that come dry. Some more bath products is gonna be next. And I'm trying to see if I got everything. Yes, I have two more bath products. The Suave Essentials Cocoa Butter and Shea Creamy Body Moisturizer, uh, Body Wash, good. Suave has always been a good one. No need to really talk about this. I would pick Suave up any day. I just never tried the cocoa butter because you guys know I'm like not a cocoa butter fan. But but I try to use, I try to, okay, here's the thing about me. If I don't like something or remember not liking, I'll try to repurchase that same very thing and either taste it or try it again to see if my taste buds and my smells and stuff is still the same. Well, I still don't like cocoa butter that much, but the shade, um, the suave body wash is not a powerful cocoa butter scent, if that makes sense. That is tolerable. So I don't have no problem with the suave then once again my feminine wash this one is in coconut too to try to see if i could stand coconut now and i used it all up this coconut smell wasn't it yeah it's not that intense neither so i'll pick it up again oh you guys sorry y'all know i'm a mother i be doing too much at one time but the next thing is makeup wipes Oh, let's pull them all out. And I did give you guys like a mixture of things this time. Um, yeah, makeup wipes. I used up four. My e.l.f. makeup wipes, no need to talk about it. Y'all know I have to keep repurchasing those. The Walmart brand Equate Beauty makeup wipes, I will repurchase it. Ooh, the Simple ones. The cleansing wipes by the brand Simple, y'all. These are good. I will repurchase this too. I had picked these up from Walgreens. I had a coupon for it. So I picked them up just to try them out because I had a coupon and it turned out really freaking good. And then this is the other Equate Beauty cleansing wipes that I really like. These are the original ones. These here are like the Neutrogena ones. So all these, none of them I can say anything bad about. I like them. Y'all, I just found another one. These were whack. Okay? These were whack. These were from the Dollar Tree. And I always try to pick up stuff from the Dollar Tree just to find hidden gems. But these were whack. These are the Awaken Green Tea Makeup Remover and Cleanser Wipes. They're whack. I did not like them. They stick to your skin. Made you feel like you had little fuzzies on your face and stuff like that. Like these right here. Um, these I found at, I want to say Burlington's, TJ Maxx. The Rose Waterhorn Makeup Cleansing Wipes. This is by Precious Beauty Skincare Solutions. Y'all, these are wet, but I use it on my hands. I can't wipe off my face with them. So I use those for when I do beauty swatches and stuff like that because they, they just suck. All right, I got three random things that I want to show you guys. I use up many of these. I only put one in here, but I use up many of these. Suave 24-hour protection deodorant with sweet pea and violet in it. It's one of my favorites, favorite scent and all. So, yeah, my Chris Sculpt is done. Repurchase. And I did use this 
V VO5 strawberries and cream with soy milk protein moisturizing conditioner for softening and shine you guys Kroger's had these on sale a while back and it was like a really good sale so I picked up the pairs of them every single scent that they had I picked up the pair and I used them but I can say I used up the conditioner more than I used up the shampoo of this one. I like the way the conditioner worked in my hair versus the shampoo. The shampoo wasn't so good, um, but I'm leaving it there just until we finish it. But the conditioner was really good and it smells like strawberries. So if those were to go back on sale, yeah, I will buy it again, but not something that I would run out and be like, ooh, I gotta get this, I gotta get that type of thing, no. I did use up some samples. I'm going to quickly show you guys the samples. Y'all know I've been trying to use up the samples. Okay, so the Ola Henderson, Ola Henderson, am I saying that right? The Sheer Transformation Perfected Moisturizer. You guys, I still have moisturizer in it, so I must have didn't like it. But I heard that this brand was a good brand, so I don't know. I did use up the new Detox um, Brightening Fizzing Powder Wash. I want this. I want this in a full-size bottle, bag, or whatever it comes in. I know it's sold at Sephora, but I have to go and get this. I like the way this cleansed your skin. So I do want to get that. The Shea Moisture's um, Coconut Water Weightless Shampoo was not good. I didn't like the shampoo at all. And I said I was going to try it, use it up because it is a sample, but mm -mm. now this Coors Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil for all skin types. I want this too. It did really good. I don't know about brightening, but the oil of it did seep into your skin for a nice moisturizer. And I did like that for the little few uses that I did use it. So if they had like a travel size or a sample size in that, I will go for it. So let's move on. Oh no, I'm not into makeup yet. I have one last Olay body moisturizer. No, body body wash. And Pinch Me sent this to me to try out. It's the Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Lock-In Moisture Body Wash. This one is just in Shea Butter. It smells so good, you guys. And I wish they would have signed the actual big bottle instead of this because from what I could tell, I use this in one shower. One shower wash, it is really thick and creamy, but it's so little in these bottles that I had to use it all up to get the actual feel of what I'm doing or how it's feeling or how it feels on my skin. I wish they would have gave me a full bottle to test out and I could have tested it out longer. But I can say I'm glad Pinch Me sent it to me, even though they always send me like this type of stuff. It's not really much, but I will go and repurchase. I will go and purchase a full size bottle because Andrea Renee raved about it and it's been in her favorites for a few months now. So I was excited to see it when Pinch Me sent it because I remember Andrea Renee talking about it. But I had to use that one all up in one use so that I could at least try to get a feel for what it really was. And I would go and purchase it. All right. So the last products we have are makeup related. I did throw out this beauty blender. I think it's just time. This is the original beauty sponge um, by Beauty Blender. But for some reason, I don't know when I wash this or how I wash this or at what time I wash this but every time I use this it's something that's poking me that got caught up into this sponge and I never miss it every time that I use it I never miss the pokey feeling so I just went ahead and threw it away because I have many other beauty blenders as well as the original beauty blenders itself so it wasn't a big deal to me to get rid of that one um okay so the glam glow what is this super cleanse daily cleansing daily clearing cleanser 
I really like this. I have a Glam Glow product, a Glam Glow cleansing product in my shower right now that I just cannot stand. I haven't yet ran across anything from Glam Glow that I didn't like until BoxyCharm sent me that one that I am currently using. You guys, I don't like it and I will be talking about it shortly in a future video but this one right here I love that it was a dark black charcoal gel and a little did go a long way it cleansed your skin this cleared up my skin so freaking good if I was to break out with like a pimple or something and I see it I would literally cleanse my face with this that day and that night and the next morning and literally your pimple would start to dry up instantly after using this i love this i will repurchase this i bought this from sephora a while ago and i don't know why i wasn't using it like that but once i did reach out and try it i could not put this down until it literally was all gone <sighs> i'm so sad it's all gone but it's a mud to foam type of cleanser and it's really good really 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 good now this dr brandt pore affecting exfoliator i got this in a subscription box too i did use it all up it is an exfoliator but i didn't see no results of it if you get what i mean i don't think i would ever purchase this again i would never purchase this for myself but if it was sent to me again i'm pretty sure i would use it up but you guys it just really wasn't that good to me i did use up my kroger's facial pads i like those the big square ones really good to cleanse your skin off with your makeup and stuff um i have one makeup brush this one was the crown brush and it was the brow duo brush as we could tell we got the brow here no angle here i have 50 million of them so it wasn't no problem for me to go ahead and let that one go um i have two mascaras a lash okay so the mascaras that i used up was the tarte lights camera lashes i really like this one i think i would pick up um a full size one i like the way that one worked they're real by benefit I like this one i like it enough that i actually opened my other new mini one of it i don't have a full size of this but i do like the minis more than the full size i've been learning that i actually like minis versus full size products because you can use them up quicker and you can actually you know say i finished the product <laughs> versus saying damn I got this full size product and I liked it, but I didn't get a chance to finish it before it went bad. I like that. So my favorite lash glue is the Lash Couture Strip Adhesive Lash. It's the brush on glue. This one is in the black. You guys, I currently have the clear one open right now. Y'all, I use this up like to the rims of it like there is you see how goopy it is i used it up and it just it looks so messy and nasty but you guys i finished this i i was like i kept using it kept using kept using it. i was like all right now girl this thing is just done for you need to go ahead and open the new one so that's what i did so the last couple of products is Two products have dried out. My NYX lingerie and baby doll. You guys, I know this one gotta be old. It's one of my favorite shades, but for some reason, you see how that's looking? Ah, oh, it's not picking up on camera, but it's not going on as smooth. Can you see that? You see how it lifted and it looks choppy? 
and it smells like paint now it doesn't smell like vanilla no more so i had to get rid of it because i don't want to put any bad products on my skin i don't know what it would do to you i don't know if you get some type of reaction to it or what but i wasn't trying to chance it so i'm just gonna go and repurchase that because i do like that shade um the hard candy hydro prime primer lotion 12 hour moisturizer it's the three in one i did really like this but this one is no good it stinks now it doesn't smell like it's any more good and I used it up quite a bit it was a project pan but I had to go ahead and like toss it because it, it has a bad smell but for the time being that I did use it I did like it and if I was to see it again I probably would pick it up again all right you guys now this is one product that I think I brought to you guys a while back um, some products that I bought from this line and I think I brought it to you guys but I think I was testing it out for like a month or so, something like that. I was trying to review it for you guys, but I ended up not liking the stuff. And instead of wasting my money, you guys, I kept saying, you need to try, you need to finish it, you need to finish it, you need to finish it. Well, I'm super excited to say that I finished the lip balm. I'm excited for that. Your Good Skin is the brand. I found them at Walgreens. I'm pretty sure they're sold anywhere. They are at a expensive brand oh they are expensive and i got them with i bought some products from their line with coupons so that was the only reason why i tried it because it's expensive especially at walgreens so this is the soothing lip balm it's supposed to hydrate lips look smooth and feel soft for our moisture no no like more of a two second moisture but i literally finished the whole thing and i'm proud of myself that i even finished it and i wouldn't repurchase it so i did finish my nyx uh vinyl liquid liner today actually i had to go over my liner with the matte one because this one was like done for and this is in my monthly shop mustache so i'm excited that i just added this today but i did finish it up and i will be going to repurchase it because the vinyl and the matte one is one of my favorites so i will repurchase that one product that dried up is my stila rose gold magnificent metal i did get this um it was like a holiday set i believe that I had got like a few shades and this one actually dried up on me before I could actually use up and love. So I had to get rid of it. And you guys, we are down to the last product. And this empties video. And you guys, I am excited to talk about this because I actually finished it up and I actually have a backup already and a backup for that backup already you guys y'all know this is one of my favorite 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 foundations of 2019 and i would not stop using this this is my perfect shade it wears perfect i always talk about this really highly and really really often like i talk about this really often I haven't started using my backup that I went to replace this one with just so that I can give some of these other foundations some love. But you guys, this is my heart. This is my heart and I would be devastated if L'Oreal was to get rid of this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And I have the shade 525 Deep Golden, you guys. I haven't even picked up a different shade because I love this shade so much. I don't have to talk about this. I did try to twist the cap open, you guys, like literally. I tried to twist the cap open to take this apart to scrape everything that's left on the glass. But this damn cap won't come open. If y'all know a way to get this damn cap open, let me know because 
I would scrape the insides. I have me the foundation paddle that I bought from Dollar General, I think, or Family Dollar. And I love scraping my foundations. But I can't get this goddamn old thing open. So if y'all know a way, let your girl know because I want what's left of this. I can't stop liking this. This is the perfect shade. It uh it wears on my skin for so long. It doesn't oxidize. It ooh, it makes me look flawless. Ugh. I love this foundation. Now there is one more product that I forgot to show you guys that I wanted to talk about. You guys, y'all remember this? Y'all remember when I brought y'all this review from Highlands Natural? It's the Coffee Grapefruit Scrub. And I was supposed to, I am going to do a product update for you guys. Um, this was one of my favorite products out of all the products they sent me. And I was using it constantly, not every day, but like maybe every other two days in the shower. It's a coffee scrub. It's supposed to, you know, scrub your body. You do smell like coffee, but you were smooth and, and how do I put it? I was smooth after I gave myself a good scrub with this stuff. I smelled like coffee. My skin felt tightened and not tightened in a bad way though. It's supposed to remove cellulite and stuff, but I didn't have cellulite. I told you guys that in the review. I didn't have cellulite, but I wanted to try it anyway, and I actually really liked it. But, uh, you guys, look at that. I opened it one day in the shower, about to use it again, and this is what I seen. And that's disgusting. Like, I didn't understand what this is about. It is disgusting. And I'm pretty sure it's like molded or something but why and this was probably one of the products that was going to be completely gone by the time i did the review but once i seen that i was like oh no i don't know maybe highlands natural could reach out to me and let me know what happened or something so that is everything you guys I, oh y'all, I know that was a lot of products that I went through, but hopefully this video is not as long because I tried to rush through them as fast as I could, as much as possible. I tried to keep everything, you know, together and stuff. So we're starting fresh. Empty basket. She goes back. She goes back up under my makeup drawer and we start fresh let's see what else we can use up so hopefully you guys enjoy this video today let me know what kind of products you've been using up y'all know i do have the project pen going on for 2020 so you guys will probably be seeing yep you guys will be seeing some products that i have used up already and you guys know i do those every three months update and stuff so be on the lookout for that because i've already used up some products so hopefully i'll see you guys next time and in the words of my famous subscriber keep shining and i will see y'all later deuces let me tell y'all how crazy i am i know i don't show too much of my of my silly side and my crazy side but i was sitting here like looking at my pictures and talking to you know my manager and my wife and i'm like 